Question seven. We've got this force here of 40 newtons acting on this weight particle here. Now this particle is coming down here. Its weight is 5g. And I'm going to split that up straight away into 5g cos 35. And here I've got 5g sine 35. The 40 newtons is being pushed in there as well. And again, I've got to split that up. And that there's my 35 degrees. So here I've got 40 sine 35. And here I've got the 40 cos 35. Um, is that all of the forces that are acting on this? No, there is another force, isn't there? There is a normal reaction force there. Um, but we'll start by looking at, let's look at the forces going up the slope. Let's see what forces we've got. The force going up the slope is 40 cos 35. That's that one there. The force going down the slope is this one here, 5g sine 35. And I'm going to tap that into the calculator to see what I get. So I've tapped that in and I've got 4.66. So this is the force going in that direction. And that's, of course, equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now, the mass of this thing here, we were told, was 5. So the acceleration is the 4.66 divided by the 5. And that gives me 0 0.932 meters per second up the slope. So it will end up going up the slope at 4.66 meters per second. No, sorry, 4.66 divided by 5, which is 0 0.932 meters per second. So part B is a whole new question, really, isn't it? Um, we've got the same force coming down, though. So that's 5g here. And again, I'll split that up into 5g cos 35. And this bit down here, 5g sine 35. This is the issue now is I'm trying So we've got, what's this? It's acting at 40 degrees to the slope. So that's 40 degrees here. So going up the slope here, I've got 30 cos 40, and coming away from the slope there, I've got 30 sine 40. Once again, we'll look in the direction I'm going to go up the slope. So up the slope is 30 cos 40. Down the slope is the 5g sine 35. And I'll tap that into I've been tapping that into my calculator and I get minus 5.1239 or minus 4.4. 4. So force equals the mass times acceleration. The mass of this is still 5. So my acceleration is going to be the 5.12 divided by 5, which is minus 1.02 or minus 1.025. So this is an acceleration down the slope this time. 